students we are discussing the purely capacitive circuit and we have calculated the value of the alternating current here uh, what we did we have just differentiated the value of q with respect to t for one time and we have got the final equation for the q that is your i naught sine omega t plus 90 degree all right okay so uh, students so uh, i can write this that this your i naught part let us write it again that is i naught equals to omega c v naught that is this one which is equal to v naught by 1 by omega c i can write this this is also maths part c in our previous equation we had omega c v naught in the next step we are writing v naught by 1 by omega c why because when it will move up it will be omega c v naught that means uh, from the second step i can move to the first step so yes this is the correct thing understood so why we are writing this students that means in this way that is v naught by 1 by omega c to write this 1 by omega c as x c understood x is students i will tell you this is the capacitive resistance capacitive resistance that is is denoted by x c and its value is 1 by omega c so to write this in this form we have written that is omega c v naught as uh, v naught by 1 by omega c all right and this particular thing that is your i naught part is called as the peak value of current okay you have studied this also previously this is your peak value of current all right now students let us denote this equation as your equation number three that is final equation for the value of i okay and uh, let us write the equation uh, let us mark this equation number two that is the value for the value of q okay that is this one that is q equals to c v naught sin omega t as equation number two okay and your equation number one is your the first equation that i have written okay this is your equation number one this is your equation number two okay okay so students uh, we have seen the equations equation number also we have seen so from these equations we come to this conclusion that that means from equation number one that is v equals to v naught sin omega t and the third equation that is your i equals to i naught sin omega t plus 90 degree from these two equations we come to the conclusions that the current leads the applied voltage by 90 degree okay the current leads the applied voltage this voltage v by 90 degree understood so let us draw one student's graph to show you uh, that uh, this current is leading the voltage by 90 degree okay okay the students the two waves you can see that is for the one equation this is dotted equation is for the v part that is applied voltage part and the black color line it is for the i part okay the current part okay i have also written the dotted one and i am now writing the this black color one it is for your 
V naught that is for the applied voltage V naught sine omega t okay this axis you can either represent the y axis either the voltage you can plot or the current and these are the your markings and this is with respect to omega t all right okay so from this the graph students you can able to see that the current is leading the applied voltage by 90 degree have you seen this okay okay so this is one conclusion that we can see from the equation number one and this equation number three that means your this equation all right so let us go to the second conclusion that we can see from these two equations that this quantity uh, one by omega c understood students this part that is your xc part okay this one by omega c students plays a same role in the capacitive circuit as a resistance R in a resistive circuit that means students this 1 by omega C is basically doing what it is doing the same work as a resistance does in a purely resistive circuit understood so take the concept here that what XC or the 1 by omega C can play in a particular circuit all right and this students this particular thing as I told you before also uh, this 1 by omega C is called as the capacitive re reactance capacitive reactance so i'm writing students the bottom one by omega c is called as the capacitive reactance reactance okay and its value and it's written as xc all right so students you can ask that what is the capacitive re reactance in the definition form the capacitive reactant students is the opposition offered by the capacitor to the flow of alternating current through it okay that means from this definition we can again see that yes it is restricting or it is opposing the alternating current to flow through the circuit so in another words it's doing the same work as resistance does in the case of the resistive circuit okay so we have seen here also okay so and students one thing since this is your capacitive reactance so i have denoted it by xc so uh, similar to that of r or xl its unit also will be ohm that means this unit of xc will be ohm only understood unit will be your ohm only okay so okay so basically we have seen the two conclusions that we can draw from the purely capacitive circuit 